Hi guys, my name is Wajid. Uh, I have cleared US Emily Step 1 exam last year in October 2022. Currently, I am preparing for Step 2 CCAM. Today, in this video, I will tell you the correct way of doing first aid uh, for the Step 1. Okay, what is the uh, best time for uh, starting it? What is the effective way of doing it? And is uh, there any other resources uh, which is important for it? Everything will be clear in this video. But before uh, starting the video, uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon below so you will never miss the update. So now the very first thing about first aid is that when to start it for the real step one. So if you are a beginner and uh, you have the intention of uh, taking step one, uh, start this uh, book as early as possible for the real step one. In my opinion and in my own personal experience, uh, this first aid is very, very important. It is as much important as your world is necessary and other uh, resources like NBMEs is necessary. So first aid is as much as necessary for the real step one. So don't underestimate uh, first aid for the real step one. Uh, it will really help you when you are uh, solving your, your world question bank and uh, other re question resources like AMBOS and when you are solving NBMEs uh, about first aid is that uh, how to study it for the real step one. So in my opinion and my own personal experience, uh, there is one video resource for it, uh, uh, which is the Boards and Beyond video for it, right? Uh, Boards and Beyond video is explained by uh, Dr. Jason Ryan, a professor of cardiology, in a very concise and effective way. So, for example, uh, you are studying uh, cardiology section from first aid. Uh, I'm giving an example to you that if you are uh, studying cardiology section, so don't uh, actually uh, study this book superficially. But before uh, doing two one section, uh, watch one uh, video for uh, for that. Like uh, there is eight minute video or ten minute videos. Okay, so after completing that videos, directly start and read this uh, book uh, with that video. And also important points should be noted from that video on this uh, book, right? So by studying in this way, uh, this book uh, with the, that video resource uh, will feel you more confident, right? Uh, in your f uh, second pass also. And I think in my own personal experience, uh, this is the very effective way of studying this book for the real step one. So now the most important thing uh, about first aid is that how many times is it necessary for the real step one? So I will say that uh, do at least uh, two to three times before you are going for the real step one. And also don't do in hurry and superficially. Okay, if you are thinking that uh, yes, nowadays USMLE is pass and fail. So yes, it's true. But uh, I think in my personal experience uh, by doing this book uh, in this way which I have uh, told you is the very effective way and uh, will feel you more confident in the real test day. So by mastering this book in this way I will feel you more confident when you are uh, taking your uh, step one right and I think uh, this is the best way right with watching this book with that video is uh, very very important right because this will not only help you that uh, you should only pass your step one right but we also uh, help in your step 2 ck preparation because uh, you know that step 2 ck is uh, 50 to 60 percent of step one preparation right so if you have uh, do this uh, book with effective way and by that we use resources i think this is the best way so there will be no need of uh, uh, searching for a lot of resources for step 2 ck this was all about first aid uh, for the step one. Uh, if you think that I made other video resources on other topics and books, uh, please tell me in the comment section. I will really appreciate it. So thanks for watching this video.